Winners announced at the end of this video. Hello ladies and gents, Reddix here with T3G doing a quick little review for the iHip Extra Bass Stereo Extra Headphones. Extra Bass. Uh, these are a pretty awesome headphone. Let's get this box out of the way. Uh, these headphones are pretty awesome. Uh, I really enjoy them. Uh, they're super comfortable, first of all. Uh, although the, them being comfortable comes with a drawback at uh, being only ten dollars. Uh, these little ear pads come off really easily. Uh, they actually came off as soon as I was opening the box up, so I had to uh, shimmy its way back onto the headphone, and it took a while. <clears throat> but uh, that's a sign that this probably isn't the most durable headphone. Um, but on a more positive note, so the iHip Extra Bass headphones are only ten dollars. We got these at Tiger Direct earlier today. Uh, it's a freaking steal. Uh, I don't know how much these retail at. What maybe? 40? They were at forty. They said um, forty dollars. Originally, but quote unquote. Originally forty dollars. So just go on Amazon or eBay and find the average price uh, for these. Uh, so yeah, they're really good headphones. Uh, some of the some of the little stats that come with these are that they have uh, neodymium drivers, uh, soft ear cushions. Uh, but these super soft ear cushions cushions do come with a uh, drawback. Uh, they come off super easily. Uh, I was just taking these out of the packaging and uh, one of them just popped off and it took me a really long time to put back on because it's it's a $10 headphone. I don't care how much they say that these are worth. They're not worth more than $10 or $20 um, just based on materials and the way these are made. <laughs> but um, yeah, the, the earbuds, or the, not the earbuds, the, the cushions come off super easily. So uh, that's kind of a drawback, but they are they are comfortable. Uh, they have really good sound quality. I'm not even just reading uh, this little package. I'm letting you know that the sound quality on these is amazing. Uh, I reviewed some Samsung headphones that came with a microphone that Cerebro purchased a while ago. And Samsung is a really reliable, um, uh, super credible company when it comes to uh, audio technology. And these headphones are probably twice, not twice as good, but they're a lot better than my Samsung headphones. And those Samsung headphones are worth $40, $50 at most places. So. Um, that says a lot about the quality of these uh, extra bass stereo headphones. They come with a six foot long cable, which uh, should be long enough for anybody. I mean, I don't see why they would include a cable even longer. You can get an extension if you truly do need one. Uh, but yeah, they're six feet long, so that's pretty standard when it comes to headphones like these. It's a good size. I probably will never find myself needing anything more than six feet. Um, headphones are adjustable. That's a given. Most headphones should be adjustable, unless they're like 99 cents. Even then, most of them are adjustable. Um, but other than that, these are really good headphones. The quality is amazing. Uh, we went with the white color because uh, it's really clean, basic. You can wear these, you know, just like this. You can wear them uh, really in any manner. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I can honestly say three out of three guys would recommend these uh, extra bass headphones by iHip. Uh, maybe they should consider changing their brand name, because that's, I don't know about all that. iHip is kind of a lame brand name. What do you think? Yeah. iHip isn't, it's not getting the job done. It sounds like the brand name for a, like a hip replacement company. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's bad, man. Like, that's like, like the one reason we were like, ah, we don't know if we want to pick these up. Because iHip, I don't know, man. I've, I've seen a couple of their other products, I mean. They're from from my experience. They're a a budget accessory company, which nothing wrong with that. I mean, ten dollars for quality that surpasses that of a Samsung thirty dollar headset. Yeah, you can't really ask for much more. Um, I guess I'll keep you guys updated on the uh, durability of these. Maybe in a month, uh, I'll let you guys know. I'll come back and comment on something on this or something. Uh, so that's pretty much it, ladies and gents. Three out of three guys would most definitely recommend these. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Go pick these up. They're really good. This has been Rex with T3G signing off. Go to T3GTech.com for more tech and reviews. And three, bro. Extra base. Extra base. Drop. Like I said, we have winners to announce for those MyNet wireless routers that we were giving away a couple weeks ago on that Roseville case review. Uh, a lot of people signed up for that giveaway, a lot of people entered, and unfortunately we could only pick two winners, but we do have them. Uh, I got them right here. On my phone, the first winner, congratulations to George Flame. You are now the owner of a MyNet wireless router. And the second winner is Ryan Walker. Congratulations, you're also the owner of a MyNet wireless walker. Uh, 
message us uh, for more detail, or not for more details, message us so uh, you guys can send us details and we'll ship those up to you uh, as soon as possible. Uh, and if they do not, if one of them or both of them even don't uh, send us information, we're gonna contact them first, of course. Uh, but if we don't get information from them, we are going to be choosing two more winners. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, you know, there's always gonna be next time, there's gonna be more uh, giveaways for sure that are gonna come up in the future. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck on the next one. This has been Radish with T3D.